Hello there people, this is Christian, welcome back to my computer and Fusion 360. And we're going to have a look at this shape here, not valve fillets here. Uh, this is a bit about making a fillet not all the way, that's one part of it. Uh, and the thing is this shape you can see is arc like this here and arc like this here. And the whole idea of this shape is to mimic if you use a rounding end mill or outer radius uh, cutter that runs along the side here. And you do not run the whole length of a side. You like running and then you're stopping and you get this cut here. And the question, of course, yeah, you normally wouldn't model anything like this in Fusion. This is just to get a correct uh, render. If you want to show people how it will look if you do it like this. So let's have a look at how we can do this. This is how we do it. You can short down a lot of steps you want to do it. We're going to start a new design. I'm going to put this into different components just to keep the cutting tool out of the the stock so we're going to start with the stock so we're going to do create a sketch do a simple rectangle something like this so we're going to dimension it let's make it uh, 95 45 something like that. we're going to extrude it so uh, one side no symmetric you want to do it uh, 250 so a long piece of wood uh, let's open up hide the sketch so I'm gonna do component coloring makes it a bit easier to see things so like this in this case we want to do the cut here and want to use this type of tool so let's have a look at this uh, you can see here we have a radius uh, pen like that we have this radius here this is of course but one we want to cut with you can see here the radius is not really fully tangent because that type of tool will be really hard to make and there will be a lot of stress on the endpoints on the tool like that but the important thing is it's not rotating around the tangent point here it's rounding, rotating around the center axis of the tool so there's a small a switch color uh, there's a small distance here uh, we had to have this here is half an inch into radio cut we are just going to mimic some dimension for the fun of it you need to grab a tool and measure it and see what dimensions you have so this is just for mimicking what would happen if you took this tool running it into a vertical axis along a portion of this side so i'm going to now create a new component and call it uh, router cut you can call it whatever you want I'm moving outside because I don't want this geometry to get involved with the stock. This is just how I like to think of things. So I'm going to do this on uh, the center plane here. That's the ZY plane. So I'm going to hold down the mouse button and find, find a YZ plane. I will project in this face here. That's the stock we're going to cut from. I'm going to hide it now. So first, of course, we have a look at the two here. Yeah, we need to have like a circle. I'm going to start with a circle to tangent circle. So I get the tangent constraints and doesn't need to think about those. I will do a line. I will start, I will overdo the tool slightly. I'll just click here and hold down shift so it locks down to be tangent and then look for the perpendicular constraint here. So I don't need to add constraints by hand. Do that, then move over to this point, move straight out and I get this helpline. I can see I get the perpendicular constraints once again and into here and basically all constraints are added the only thing i need to do is add the dimensions so let's say this radius here is now of course a diameter because it's circles so and right click and select radius but normally you define uh, fillets by the radius or you define the cutter by the radius it's cutting so let's say that's eight millimeters and the question of course is here is the distance this is the center axis of the tool so the question is what is the distance from the center axis cool to the cutting edge here we had an image of half an inch and that's the diameter is going to be half of that so let's do it five millimeters like that so of course i can now trim away things and stuff like that but i want to keep uh, the sketch as stable as possible what I might do I make might mark these two lines and turn them into construction geometry because they are not this profile is not needed so by that I'm gonna finish sketch step one of this tool is gonna to do be a straight cut I will not create it as a, its own body but I will extrude and the parts I'm gonna extrude is gonna be the cutter so it's this part here that's a radius and the center axis uh, one side we can do that we're going to mirror it later so let's say it's going to be 50 meters 50 millimeters in this direction 
S on the keyboard and do a revolve. We're gonna now we're gonna do the revolve of the tool. The profile is gonna be this end and the axis is gonna be this one. And Fusion, as always, wants to cut away things and I say no, I wanna join these two. So this is what it would look like if you took the tool, start in the middle here and run it out of here and stop the movement here and just remove the machine. It will still rotate and cut like this. So we're gonna do this in two direction. Open up, gonna hide my sketch, S and mirror, let's find a mirror command. Bodies, yes, this body across this face here. Join, because we want to make it one body. We have only got one body here. So this is the path the tool will make. You can directly cut this if you want to do it, but this is just to keep things visible and simple for my brain. So the last thing we're gonna do, we're gonna jump up to the top level of our, sorry, of our design. And when you do a combine, first of all, select the stock body, this one, and the tool is gonna to be our little tool here. Now you can, if you want to, you can remove a tool, but I like to keep the tool for future if you wanna have a look at it. And we're gonna do a cut, not a join. We normally get a join, but I wanna do a cut and I hit okay. And now I'm gonna hide my router cut tool here. So by doing that, we now have gotten the shape that a router will make if it was running along the side and you stop the movement and just let it spin and cut and then do the other direction. So this is just to mimic the shape of that. You might find this useful for something else. Just try to think of things slightly differently. With that said, take care, see you around and goodbye.